Hi guys, it's Brad from Monero Marine. And here is our next project. This is a Monero 298. Now originally it was a single diesel, but it was converted to twin Suzuki 300s. And this was done by another company. So they did things a little bit differently than us. Um, now the, the problem that the owner's having is that the the boat is a little stern heavy so he wants to shed some weight and add buoyancy so what we're doing is one we're extending the hull and number two we are adding lithium-ion phosphate batteries so here's the the pods that we've made one on each side so we have an existing mold and we put some inserts into it and we're trying to maximize the size of these pods now we had to modify the swim grid so we actually pulled it out a bit this way uh, so we could uh, maximize the width and then we made each side the same size uh, but the swim grid is actually a little narrower on this side so we've if you can see in there we've uh, stepped it on that side and then this side is totally within the uh, swim grid. So, coming over here. So when this other company extended, uh, or sorry, converted this boat to outboard, they modified the swim grids. So they, they stretched it out to here where originally it was, we'll say, to about here. But the way they did that, they actually added more material on top. So you can see this thickness here. I mean, we've got about almost two inches of thickness. And that added a whole lot of unnecessary weight so what we did to shed some of that weight was to cut as much of this of that out as we could so we cut a hole on this side and we cut one on this side which you can't really see too much of anymore we'll get to that shortly and then we have made a cover, which is here. So that's for this starboard side. And it's thin. It's just thin glass. And we've added some wood here where the opening is. And on top we've sprayed a non-skid to match the existing non-skid and the hole here is uh, going to be for uh, an inspection plate so that gives us access to uh, glass inside and if water gets in there and also uh, just fastening the whole pods in place so we've cut our our openings uh, and sealed all the wood it's all glassed and then there we've extended the stringer system a little bit we put new trim tabs on these are Bennett electric 12 by 18 looking on this side 
we have pasted this piece in place, put the weights on, it was just pasted like a half an hour ago. So once that's cured, then they're going to glass the joint inside. Here's the batteries we are putting in. It's a Battleborn 12 volt lithium ion phosphate, 100 amp hours. Now we're adding three of these. I weighed them. They are 32 pounds each. And what we're removing are four six volt golf cart batteries. Now those weigh 65 pounds. So that's uh, 260 pounds we're removing and we're adding uh, almost a hundred pounds so our net gain is uh, 160 pounds uh, we're shedding from the boat plus these have way more power than the lead acid and they can be mounted uh, anywhere in the boat because they're sealed um, we've got the pods finished now on top, we've used an Armstrong 10 inch hatch. And it just unlocks like that. Uh, there you go, it's got this nice rubber gasket all around. Uh, and it seals right to your surface. Now, around the flange, um, you can see it's kind of uh, tapered up, so we, we cut it about an inch and a half you can see there where it wasn't cut it's just too much uh, to get in there so this will shed some weight and it looks better and then we put the uh, molding back on and capped it at the end with a piece of starboard on the side here we've extended the stripes into the pods which integrates it into the hull better looks nice and on the other side we've mounted a boarding ladder in the engine room we've got the four new batteries installed these are the lithium iron phosphate one two now there was going to be three but the owner said oh let's put in one more okay so there's two more in there. So again, these were 32 pounds a piece. And uh, these two have been pushed forward. So we're moving the weight forward, which also helps with the balance of the boat. And on the other side, uh, we've got two new lead acid batteries for, for starting group 31 those are the same weight as the original we made this uh, nice solid box with the lid so it also acts as a step after that this is a battery for his uh, electric motor for his dinghy that's the same so we're not losing any weight there uh, another thing we did was we removed a gigantic tank a diesel tank for the furnace which was right where this board is uh, I mean it was so big that you could probably run the furnace for weeks so we took that out and we put this little little tank it's I would say about two gallons so he doesn't need much fuel even with that you could probably run it for quite a few days that concludes this video. We're now going to put the boat into storage, so we can't do a sea trial yet, but hopefully once spring comes, we'll put the boat in the water and we can film it and show the results. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.